Siemens power panels are a safe and efficient way to power industrial, commercial, and institutional environments. This video shows installation of various strap kits for adding breakers in the field. Suggested tools include a tape measure, socket wrench, screwdrivers, and torque wrench. To begin, remove the two gutter covers and the cover plates. You'll need them in a later step, so keep the covers and bolts nearby. Next, map out your unit space for your strap kits. Measure off the next available hole after the strap kit above. You can do this for all strap kits at once or one at a time. Connect the lugs into the top four holes of the phase bus with the screws provided. Torque screws to the requirements on the back of the dead front cover. Repeat these steps for B and C phase lugs. Be sure there is proper clearance between the lugs and the other phase section bus. Begin by mounting the A phase strap one and a quarter inches from the top of the kit. Insert screws through the two holes in the A phase strap and the A phase bus and tighten. Next, install the C phase straps in the same way, two and a half inches down from the A phase strap. Install the B phase strap into the B phase bus one and a quarter inches down and three and five eighths inches across from the A phase strap. Then, insert a screw to tighten the phase bus. Torque all hardware per the instructions on the back of the dead front. Install barrier supports 1 and 7 eighths inches down from the top reference point. Insert a screw through the barrier and Z-rail hole and tighten. Next, insert a screw through each of the holes in the top barrier and the barrier support and tighten. Screw the A-phase branch connector to the phase strap and tighten. Repeat the same steps for the C-phase connector and the C-phase strap. Position the BL-BQD circuit breaker so the notch engages the uppermost latch tab on the top barrier. Screw the top barrier into the metal contact of the circuit breaker. Do the same for the additional straps and circuit breakers. The branch neutral is mounted at the bottom of the Z-rails or mirrored at the top depending on the feed cable location. The neutral lug assembly can be mounted on either side of the branch neutral depending on the cable feed location. Torque all hardware and repeat this process for each additional strap kit. Once the phase straps and barrier supports have been properly installed, slide the breaker across the barrier surface until the notch engages the tab in the barrier. Insert a number 1032 washer head screw through each connector tab hole and fasten to the branch connector. Torque all hardware as specified and repeat for the additional straps and circuit breakers. The branch neutral is mounted at the bottom of the Z-rails or mirrored at the top depending on the cable feed location. The neutral lug assembly can be mounted on either side of the branch neutral depending on the cable feed location. Torque all hardware. The first items to install are the line straps. Attach the B-phase of the section bus one and one quarter inches down from the top of the five inch unit space selected. Connect the B-strap to the B-phase bus with two thread forming screws and tighten. Repeat this step for the A-phase strap and bus. To install the C-phase strap, locate two holes on the C-phase bus two and a half inches below the mounting screws of the A-phase and B-phase straps. Then insert two more thread forming screws and attach the strap to the C-phase section bus. Torque all screws to the values specified. Mount the QR mounting brackets next. Find the hole on the left Z-rail 5 eighths of an inch below the mounting screws of the A-phase strap. Screw the QR mounting bracket to the Z-rail and tighten. Repeat the same steps to install the second QR mounting bracket to the right-hand Z-rail. Torque all screws as specified on the back of the dead front. Connect the B-link bar to the B-phase strap with two screws and tighten. Repeat this step to mount the two A and C link bars to their phase straps. Adjust the link bars so you have one and a half inches of vertical between the centers of the bars. Torque all screws as specified. Install the circuit breaker by inserting one screw into each of the three contacts on the on side and into the holes at the left end of the A, B, and C phase link bars, then tighten. Insert two thread forming screws into the mounting holes at the off side and into the two holes in the QR mounting bracket and tighten. Torque all connections to the values as specified. 
The branch neutral is at the bottom of the Z-rails and can be mounted on either side of the branch neutral depending on cable feed location. Torque all hardware as specified. Install the line straps first. Find the two holes on the B phase of the section bus 2.5 inches down from the top of the 5 inch unit space selected. Use two thread forming screws to connect the B strap to the B phase bus and tighten. Repeat this step to install the A phase long and short straps onto the A phase bus 1.25 inches in from the top. Next, install the C phase long and short straps. Find two holes on the C phase bus 2.5 inches below the mounting screws of the A phase straps. Insert two more thread forming screws through the two holes in the strap and then into the holes in the C phase section bus. Torque all hardware per the instructions on the rear of the dead front. Mount the FD mounting brackets next. Find the hole on the left Z rail, 5 eighths of an inch below the top reference. Use screws to attach the FD mounting bracket to the Z rail. Repeat the same steps to install the second FD mounting bracket onto the right hand Z rail. Torque all screws as specified. Install the circuit breaker by inserting a screw into each of the three contacts on the on side of the breaker and into the holes at the left end of the A, B, and C phase bars and tighten. Insert two thread forming screws into the two mounting holes at the off side of the breaker and into the two holes in the FD mounting bracket and tighten. Torque all connections to the values as specified. The branch neutral is located at the bottom of the Z rails and can be mounted on either side of the branch neutral depending on cable feed location. Torque all hardware as specified. Align the two square holes on the long phase strap and press down to latch the two snaps on the strap support barrier. Repeat this step for the medium phase connector barrier. To install the breaker mounting bracket, insert one screw through each hole in the breaker mounting bracket and tighten. Measure eight and three quarters of an inch of unit space in the board. Then connect the Z rail to the support barrier with screws. Repeat this step and install the same size screw into each of the bottom holes of the support barrier. To install the short phase connector, guide the end with four holes through the support barrier and align the other end with the medium phase connector. Use thread forming screws to connect the short phase connector into the A phase bus. Torque all hardware as specified on the back of the dead front. Insert one machine screw through each of the three contacts on the line side of the breaker and into the phase connectors. Then insert two thread forming screws into the mounting holes at the load side of the breaker and into the holes in the breaker mounting bracket and tighten. Install the neutral lug at the bottom of the Z rails and then torque all hardware as specified. In this example we will treat the recently installed JD breaker as a main breaker to show how a service entrance barrier is installed. Identify the service terminal end of the service main this will be added to. Place the base of the barrier support bracket on the strap support barrier aligning the holes. Drive screws through the properly aligned holes of the barrier support bracket and into the strap support barrier. Tighten both screws to 20 inch pounds. Next position the barrier assembly onto the barrier support brackets so the smaller pair of holes on the barrier top align with the hole on each end of the barrier support bracket. Drive screws through the properly aligned holes of the barrier and into the barrier support bracket holes. Tighten both screws to 20 inch pounds. Before energizing the panel, ensure all connections have been properly torqued, the barrier is in place and secure, and the dead front covers are installed and fillers are in place. If you have any questions or need further assistance at any time while using Siemens panel boards, please refer to the Operations and Maintenance Manual, Panel Board Installation Instructions for Mounting Breakers, or usa.siemens.com slash panel boards. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.